Welcome to the most pointless video on the internet. Yay! <laughs> What's up, you guys? Welcome to today's video. So as you can tell by the title, we're going to be talking about prison skincare and prison beauty today, a couple of hacks as well. So if this is your first time seeing me, welcome. How's it going? You have found yourself a prison YouTube channel. If you don't like talking about prison or you do not like seeing someone thrive outside of prison, this is probably not the channel for you, but the Ride or Die crew is going to have some fun today. You guys are always asking me what you did in prison, how you did your eyes eyebrows in prison? Can you show us how to thread eyebrows? What was skincare like? Can you buy this? Can you buy that? So I'm just going to kind of break all of that down for you guys today. Also, before we get started, I did buy a new mic. So hopefully the audio sounds better. I keep looking at it because I'm nervous. I'm like, are you really working? I don't really know. Technology and me just do not get along like at all. Like I'm so bad at technology, but I'm trying. Like, listen, when I started this channel, I started with a freaking phone. All I would do is I would take my Galaxy Note at the time nine, this is the 10, I would take my Galaxy Note nine, plug a little mic and clip it on my shirt and talk. So I've evolved past that and I'm trying really hard to be a professional YouTuber. It's not, it's not going great. But anyway, enough rambling. Let's get into the beauty hacks and beauty skincare and tips and tricks in prison. Here we go. Well, I should have done that last night because oh my god. So I tried to take a string out of this white shirt to make it authentic and it didn't work. So I grabbed my workout bra and I ripped it apart. And you guys, it's so tedious. Like literally the string just kept breaking over and over again. And I remember while I was doing this, I would tell people like, if you want me to do your eyebrows, get me a string, like get me some string and I'll do it. Like it's such a pain to break apart a shirt or like rip something apart because the string kept breaking. I was able to get a small piece and I'm trying to like, how do I show you guys? I guess I'm just gonna have to do it on my face and like get you like zoomed in, like in. We, we about to go in. Look, look how close I am. Okay, so this is small, but <laughs> go like that and it like it will rip the hair string broke but you just run it along your brow and it slowly pulls everything out I will say that the string can get away from you so you have to be really careful when you're threading people's eyebrows because if you go up too high and you're trying to do the arch it will like it'll get away from you and it'll rip your thing it'll rip your brow so that's enough of that um, that took forever <laughs> so yeah that's how I would thread my eyebrows and it is tedious it does take time and you also need good string like you know you've been to prison if you're like oh that's some good string though like that string looks so dope <laughs> who says that no one but if you've been to prison and you're a female and you liked your eyebrows threaded or you would thread eyebrows you know what string is the good string so weird I know Okay, number two, prison beauty. So, skincare is very important. However, in prison, they do not give you face wash or exfoliant or anything nice like this. This is what I use on my face to exfoliate now. It's the Hydro Boost Exfoliating Cleanser. You can just get it at Walgreens. It's so bomb, it's so gentle, it's so awesome. I love this. I do this every like three days. But you're not gonna find that up in a prison cell. So, what you would do in prison is you would wash your face with like bar soap. I know, I know. Say, say a little prayer for all of the people washing their face with bar soap. I am so sensitive that that was just a nightmare for me. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. So after I washed my face and it was really dry, I'm talking like dry, dry, dry. 
I would go in with, drum roll please, a toothbrush. <laughs> a really small toothbrush now your face has to be very 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 dry and you would literally do like circular motions and you would exfoliate your face with a toothbrush and I know that sounds insane but you would watch like all of the dead skin and dry skin fall off now prison water is like hard water it's gross it's really it's really rough on your skin and it always made me so 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 dry so every few days I would take a toothbrush and I'd just be sitting there like with my towel like exfoliating my my forehead <laughs> exploding my whole face and getting all of the dead skin off of my face and you could literally feel the difference and i think that was what was so appealing to me like i could i could literally feel and touch my face and be like oh my gosh it's so smooth now it's just something that you had to do if you were really dry skinned like i was i was very 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 dry i still am to this day after exfoliating my face i really wish we had a facial moisturizer but they just don't sell that the only moisturizer or lotion i've ever seen in prison is cocoa butter and then one other like there's not even a name for it it just like the name is lotion i'm pretty sure and it comes in these like little tiny bottles with this little tiny thing so you can either get cocoa butter which i was very grateful for when i was pregnant because it does work really well on my body um, and I like the smell of cocoa butter, but yeah, so you can get cocoa butter or you can get the little bottle of lotion. Like it literally like says lotion and it's either pink or tan depending on where you're at. So that was the lotion that you would get. And I was always so nervous to put that on my face because I am so, so, so sensitive that when I would put anything on my face, I would break out. So yeah, it's very difficult to have a skincare routine because your skincare routine is like nothing. Like wash your face in the shower or wash your face in the sink with bar soap and then dry off and exfoliate your face with a toothbrush. Prison skincare 101. As for makeup, you will see county jail hacks as far as eyeshadow, eyeliner, lip liner, all that kind of things. You'll see that with colored pencils, Vaseline. Christina Randall has a really good prison makeup video. I will link that down below. So there are hacks in county jail, but in prison, in my personal experience, I have seen makeup sold on the commissary. And it's like really cheap drugstore makeup, but any makeup is makeup, so we we're always grateful for that. <clears throat> this is one of the things that you could buy in the last prison that I was at. Um, it'll last on your eyes for like nine years. So yeah, prison mascara. Now, a lot of people watching might wonder why do women want to look pretty in prison? Why do you want to wear makeup in prison? You guys, prison strips you of your individuality. You just want to stand out. You just want to look good. At the end of the day, we're human and you just you just want to look good sometimes. You want to feel good about yourself sometimes. So women would also get visits and they would want to look good for their husbands and their boyfriends or their girlfriends and their family. They just would want to look good. So yeah. That's why, but we could buy really, 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 really cheap makeup. The Maybelline eyeshadow quads, you could buy those, you could buy this, you could buy baby, baby girl or baby bell uh, lipstick or lip tint or lip gloss. You could buy that on the commissary. So I wanna go back to eyebrows just for a second. And I'm sorry if this is all over the place. I like dead ass took like 30 minutes trying to get that string and like show you guys how to do the eyebrow thing. And then the string broke, which is like, ugh such a prison thing so back to eyebrows um another thing that i would use a toothbrush for is to comb up your eyebrows and then i would trim eyebrows right like you have to trim your eyebrows but they don't sell scissors on commissary so another thing that we would use nail clippers for is to trim the hair of our eyebrows so you just are very innovative with things that you can buy on commissary you have to do a lot with very little, I will say that. So that definitely has taught me to be trendy and be thrifty and, and maximize everything. So yeah, nail clippers. Nail clippers have so many uses in prison, you guys. Like you can use it to make a stinger, you can use it to cut eyebrow hair, you can cut your nails, obviously. Um, there's so many different things you can do with nail clippers that most people would be like, oh, they're just nail clippers. Not to an inmate. <laughs> to an inmate, it's metal. It's metal that you can use uh, to do all kinds of things. It's scissors. So yeah, I will say that after you cut hair with these, <laughs> they get very dull very fast. So I would go through nail clippers all the time, like, like crazy. I want to mention how I was able to have straight hair in prison. So my hair is naturally curly and the last facility that I was at, they would make the women cut their hair. So your hair would have to be two here 
and they have since changed this rule, but when I was there, you had to have your hair cut to here. And every time an officer would see you, if your hair was growing out and you had it down, he'd be like, oh, go to the beauty shop, inmate, go to the beauty shop, inmate, and they'd have to cut your hair really, really short. So I, I liked to have my hair curly so I could have a little bit more length, but there are amazing hacks. So I know a lot of people ask me about this too. So I would take a shower at night and then I'd have someone wrap up my hair and that sounds weird, right? So we would take a little bit of mousse, not mousse, not, not gel either. Uh, grease like hair grease I'm not really sure like the name for it but we take a little bit of hair grease and we would literally comb and brush my hair all the way around my head like this and we would wrap it around and wrap it around and we continue to do that so it like looked like this all the way around my head and it would sit right here and then we would take a towel a hair towel and wrap it around my head and I'd go to sleep like that then in the morning I would very carefully brush it out and you guys it was straight now I'm not sure if you can do this with like really 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 curly hair but the hair type that I have is like cr like not crimpy like wavy curly it's not you they're not uniformed curls or anything but my hair would be straight after that and it was just such an amazing hack I don't know who thought that up but it was just so genius so I would do that all the time so that my hair would be straight um, when it was really short when I was trying to grow it out I would keep it curly so that I could get away with a couple extra inches you know what I'm saying okay so I think I covered a lot of the beauty hacks if you have been to prison and you have done different beauty hacks please let me know in the comment section down below what your skincare routine was like in prison or what your makeup routine was like in prison I'm always curious to see how people took little to nothing and made something out of it I think it's so innovative and so clever so I really hope you guys enjoyed this fun laid-back video and I will see you in my next one bye you guys